Hello guys, today we are going to create this amazing brush stroke effect using After Effects. So, let's get start. Open After Effects and create a new comp. I am using 1920 plus 1080p with 24 frame per second. I make this video 10 seconds long, but you are free to choose your own settings. Again make a new comp with same settings and name it text. Now make your text layer as you want. I give you the font link below you can also use the same font if you want. Now select the white color and align to the center. Now go to effects and presets and search for transform and apply to the text layer after that change the skew value to minus 8%. Now it's look great. Now go to our main comp then make a new comp and name it mask now hit ok. Then select the rectangle tool and change the fill color to white then double click in the rectangle to make a shape layer. Now go to shape layer then rectangle, rectangle path unlink and then change the value around 250. Now go to effects and presets then search for turbulent displace and apply to the shape layer. Select shape layer and hit S in your keyboard and change the horizontal scale value to around 90% and then change these settings, keep following me. That looks great to me. Now duplicate the shape layer two times and place them as sequence like that. Again select these three layers and go to two seconds forward and open position by hit P in your keyboard. Now add a keyframe the go to first frame and select first and third layer and change their position like that. Now select the second layer and change his position in the opposite direction. After that select these all keyframe and hit F9 in your keyboard to easy ease them. Then open the edit graph and change the graph like this. This will make your transition smoother, just like that. Now go to the main comp and drag both text and mask comp in the timeline and select the text layer and set track mat to alpha mat. Now you can see the nice brush stroke effect. Now again pre-comp them and name text mask. That looks good to me. Now drag this brush effects and place to timeline and change the track mat to alpha mat. That looks good to me. Pre-comp them and name brush stroke. After that go to the project folder and change the brush stroke name as brush stroke 1 and then duplicate it. Now drag it to the timeline. Then open this layer and change the track mat to none. Then drag the brush effect below text layer. Also don't forget to click in the eye icon here to active this layer. Now select the layer and go to effects and presets then search for fill and apply on it. That looks good to me. Here select the first layer and duplicate it then change the name to shadow. Now go to effects and preset again select the fill and apply on it. Then search for CC radial blur also apply to the same layer. Now change the fill color to a more dark red type. But you're free to choose your color. Then select radial blur and change the type to fading zoom. Then set the amount around 25% and quality 50 will be okay. After that select the anchor point and set it to your desire place where the shadow looks more good. Keep experiment.
select all three layers then make them 3D, after that select only top two layers and change their Z position to minus 25. Now create a new camera, I am using 50mm preset. Then create a null object. Now select camera layer and parent to null object. Great, change null object name as camera movement. After that select null object and hit R in your keyboard to open rotation properties, now change the rotation of X, Y and Z like that, keep following me. Now select all these layers and hit F9 to easy ease them, then open edit graph and edit them like that. It makes the camera movement more smother. Add some keyframes in orientation also and easy ease them then edit the speed graph also. If you new in this channel then please consider subscribe. That looks great to me. Make a new null object and name it wiggle and parent the camera movement layer to this layer, then open position properties and hit alt and p, to open expression. Now right here wiggle 3 comma 4, it gives handheld camera shake. That looks good to me. Now render the final footage and enjoy, and please subscribe to our channel also do like share and comment to keep us alive. It really helps my channel.